Orange man, you are charged with election interference in the 2016 election by paying hush money, which the federal court found you did not commit and the statute of limitations has run out for what would be a misdemeanor, but since we are the state of New York, we are changing it to a felony. Are you ready for the sentence? But don't I get the trial first? Okay, you can have a trial and then the sentence. Please call on the first witness. So you admit that you had an affair with the orange man and that you were paid a large sum of money not to say anything? Yes, I was paid a generous sum of money. More than I make from starring in one of my movies. So you were paid by the orange man to not say anything about an affair before the 2016 election? I was actually paid by the orange man's lawyer at least that is what he claimed. Can you tell us how long this affair with the orange man lasted and give us the juicy details? It was only a one-time deal, and I did not think much of it until the orange man's lawyer approached me with the money and said all I had to do was not say anything. He later told me that, if I did say something that I could make some more money. Um, I don't think that I have any further questions. I understand that you are claiming that you had an affair with the orange man and that you were paid some hush money before the 2016 election. Can you tell us more about it? Yes, I had an affair with the orange man in my hotel suite at the Republican convention. He entered my suite and I said my that thing is so big, I hope it is not going to hurt me. Please be gentle and then he thrust his big member into me. You are a porn star by profession aren't you ma'am? Isn't that a line from one of your porn movies that you starred in? Yes, but I just wanted to spice things up. Actually very little happened. Thank you very much, no further questions. Please call the second witness. I understand that you were the orange man's lawyer at the time of the 2016 election. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And I understand that you were in charge of cleaning up any potential things that might interfere with the orange man's election such as steamy affairs with pornographic movie stars. Yes, that is correct. I was his right hand man until he did not give me the position that I wanted when he got elected. So you admit to paying the hush money to a pornographic movie star that the orange man had an affair with? Yes, that is what I did but he never paid me back for it. I have no further questions. Now you were the orange man's lawyer and you claimed that you paid hush money to keep this pornographic star from saying anything during the 2016 election. That's right, I paid the hush money to the porn star for the orange man. Now haven't you already been convicted of perjury in a previous case and been disbarred from practicing law? Just a minor misunderstanding, but you can believe me when I tell you that I paid the hush money for the orange man, heck I even helped myself to some funds that I feel that I deserved. So you are telling me that you embezzled funds from the orange man? No, I am just saying that I took funds for services rendered that I felt that I was entitled to. In other words, you embezzled funds and you are also a convicted liar so why should we believe you? Well, because the Democrats promised me that if I testified against the orange man that I would get a reduced sentence. Okay, I think that we have heard enough. I think that we have heard enough testimony, now it is time for the jury to deliberate and decide. Chairman of the jury, have you reached your decision? Yes your honor, we have. It was a difficult decision to make but thanks to the generosity of the Democrat party we were able to reach a decision. We find the orange man guilty of all 34 charges whatever they are. Very well, court will be adjourned and we will plan to have sentencing in July when we determine the sentence of life in prison or the death penalty.